everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome to a cold rainy day in victoria where i live so i'm going to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions that i probably get and that's if you want to major in wildlife biology or environmental science but your school does not offer the major that you want whether that's wildlife biology ecology or just not the specific major that is for the career that you wanna be in. So this is a really common thing. Not every school is big enough to offer all these big majors. So personally, I took ecology um, because my school did not offer wildlife biology. And so here are some of the things you could do if your school does not offer the major you want. I recommend in this situation that you major in the closest thing you can find, but also think about um, the skill sets you're gonna get from each major. So for example, if you're deciding between an ecology major and a environmental studies major and you wanna be a wildlife biologist, um, look at the courses that are in each major. Usually the course lists are available online. You might see that commonly an ecology major might be a bit more technical focused than like a natural resource management or an environmental studies major, which might have more policy and environmental management courses. There's nothing wrong with environmental management courses, but if you are wanting to be a field biologist and you haven't taken enough of those technical courses, such as ecology, um, marine mammal biology, uh, whatever your specialty is, you're probably not gonna be as prepared if you pick the major that focuses more on environmental management. So take a look at the courses and try to see which ones match up with one, the subject that you're most interested in, and then also two, you know, whether you're going down a technical route or more of an environmental planning route. Here's the thing too, if you pick a major that's not 100% related to what you wanna do, that's okay because you can still specialize through experience. I talk about that a bit more in my video about how to specialize, but if you are someone who's in a biology, a general biology major, and you have very little courses on wildlife, I would recommend you t reach out to professors and maybe a research lab and see if they can take you on as a volunteer or a research assistant, and then you can learn through your jobs and through your experience more about wildlife biology and your resume will have line items all related to wildlife biology so that when you apply to a wildlife biology job and they see you have a general bio major but then they see all this wildlife experience that you have throughout your degree then you're still going to be pretty competitive for that job so the big picture is uh, majors really aren't too, too important as long as you're generally in the right realm of what you wanna do later on. Another option too is if you are planning to do your master's degree and your undergrad is ecology, you could always do more of a wildlife biology focused master's program and that's going to help you be more competitive for wildlife jobs. If you want to see more about how to become a wildlife biologist and what my life is like as a wildlife biologist, click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. I hope that answered some of your guys' questions. Um, if you want to see more in my career series, click the playlist link above and I will also link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.